Hello and welcome to the ninth tutorial in the Cocos Code IDE series. In this part we're going to be looking at running a project for the web. This tutorial assumes you have set up and generated a project. Running your project on the web can be done on a Windows or a Mac. We're going to be doing it on Mac but the process is exactly the same for Windows as well. So let's open up Cocos Code IDE. Unlike the previous tutorial, there is no need to open up the debug configurations and we can directly just run it in a browser. There's like a really simple way to do this, just like one button. So if we go here, there's a button right here that looks like basically the icon for the web, the earth, that's what it is. It's got a little play button here. If you hover over it, it says running browser. So when I click on this, you'll load up terminal. And terminal just basically setting up all the local server, which we don't have to worry about. So let's just patiently wait for this. Well, it's taking a little while, let's just inspect, make sure. That is weird. Why well, there's so many errors. Let's just try running it again. Yeah. Yeah, let's just try running it again. It was really weird. Try just clearing the history. Okay, there you go. So if we go back to Cocos Code ID, click on Running Browser, we have it running there. So that's a little tip. I'm not going to comment. I mean, I'm not going to edit that little bit at the video because it, it's a great little learning process. If you have an issue that it's not working, a general rule of thumb if you're running it on the web is just to clean your browsing history. You don't have to like clean uh, your browsing history per se, just clear the images and cache and that usually does the trick. So if you have an issue, that's how you fix it. But really running it on your web browser is simply just click that web browser button and that's it. What I really like about running it on a web browser through this, you don't have to interact with the terminal, though we open the terminal, you don't have to really do anything with it, and there's no need to install a local server like exam. Cocos Code Code ID handles it all for you, which is absolutely amazing. The next tutorial will cover live coding. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.